the show. We're moving Slippers, into a ballet delicious. flat now. Really a nice variety, so I don't know what you're in need of when it comes to stocking up for winter shoes, but hopefully we've got something for everybody tonight. All right, so next is the Mina. Now, Mina is a cap toe ballet flat with a ton of different options for everybody to choose from, from metallic options to snake options to even like a herringbone. So come on back to the table after you check them out on Miss Brenda. Medium and wide widths will be available. Remember, the brand has free shipping and handling, um, and $30 is your easy pay. I think I'm gonna steal that one when we're done oh, showing yes. the color. <laughs> Absolutely, okay. pop that back so, in for you. That Thank you, honey. Well, you can take it out, whatever you need to do. But that's your pewter snake option. So like a metallic, silvery meets gray meets pewter, hence the name pewter metallic, or pewter snake, I mean. This is your black snake. Now, look at the difference here. So that has the snake all over the shoe and the cap is solid. This is opposite. So if you choose the black snake, the little toe cap will be done in your animal print. You have the cute little bow on all of them, different colored hardware, and then the bulk of the upper is gonna be done more in a matte leather. This is your navy patent, and so the uh, majority of the shoe will be a smooth leather, but the back has the patent detail as well as the cap toe. Then this is your gold snake. I love this for spring. I mean, think about when we wanna do all of those great like um, nautical looks and easy spring looks. Great with navy and white. Very, very pretty. And you've got the snake on the body of the shoe. The cap toe is solid. Then we're gonna see something we haven't seen yet tonight. Tan herringbone. Look at that with your blazers and your t-shirts and your jeans. One more snake option, metallic silver. And then one more herringbone. This is your black herringbone. It's already getting limited. Five through 12 whole and half, medium and wide widths. Thank you, my damn, <laughs> my damn. <laughs> so this is what we love to call our non-flat ballet flat, Amy, because the truth is if you Cute. own many ballet flats, which all of us do, right? It's a staple in your wardrobe, it's classic, it doesn't go out of style, and it's ageless. So it's really something that all of us have in our wardrobe, but the ballet flat normally is just that, it's flat. Yes. And so you are going to walk around and feel everything under your fit, foot, which is exactly what we do not want. So here we're putting that same bionic technology. It is American Podiatric uh, Medical Association seal of approval, which is tremendous. And each and every shoe has to have that individually. And the flat gets it because we're giving you that support that you need. So you're still getting that beautiful deep heel cup and all of the arch support and the flex. So it really is giving you a much better walking experience than another ballet flat might. Yes. That's giving you zero support. Well, and think about a ballet flat is something that you're going to have in your wardrobe for a very long time. Dare I say forever. forever. So maybe you get a herringbone, <laughs> maybe you get a snake option, maybe you get one that has more of a um, solid look to it. But this is a look that will always work. I was already thinking about like grabbing some transitional shoes because you know we're gonna start displaying mm -hmm. spring fashion. Oh, it's right around the corner. Early February. And yes. it's not tank tops and shorts yet. That's going to be way in summer. But you know, it's those looks that what can we start to add into our wardrobe to make it look more spring? Well, a ballet flat, Easy. I highly recommend that as like the spring shoe for sure. Absolutely. You know, sometimes we're, we're tired of putting on the boots every day and you get those 60 degree days and you're like, you know what? I just want to grab something easy. This is going to be something that sits by your door, you know, at one point and you're just slipping in and out of it because it's so easy and it right? looks great. Like you said, put on a blazer and jeans, put on a little dress and, and put on your Mina Ballet flats. It's just a great, uh, simple silhouette that is absolutely timeless. Now, Brenda's in the Navy. I feel like we better go back over these options since they're all slightly different before we do a demonstration on our girl, Amy. So the herringbones, I'll put them in order. Black herringbone and tan herringbone. This is a suede on the uh, upper here and the little cap is all gonna be done in that solid suede. And then you have more of like a antique um, bronze hardware yes. on both the herringbones, black and tan. Now I'm gonna do these three next to each other. Let me take off one of my shoes. These are the three that are all similar with snake all over the upper with the exception of the cap toe. That's gonna be done more in a solid leather. This is the pewter, this is the silver, and this is the gold. So pewter, silver, and gold snake. And then this one is all of its own right here. The navy is navy patent because you get patent in the back good navy. and patent on the toe. And then this one is all unique unto its own. This is your black snake and you've got the cap toe in the snake and then the rest of the shoe is all done in solid leather. Shall we take a walk and we'll Absolutely. show everybody the, the hidden support? Absolutely. 
So we see here again, we're going to tell you this all begins because we're all so used to standing on hard surfaces and unnatural surfaces that we were not meant to stand on. So you can see here, Amy has this line that is completely crooked because she's rolling in. She's kind of searching for that support. We also can see how out of line the knee is. So everywhere the foot goes, the knee is going to follow. And you can see it's kind of turning, going in different directions. You probably, we should probably see the knee, I'm assuming, right? Would you Absolutely. guys mind if there's a way we can see Amy's kneecap? That would be great. Gracias. There you go. So you can see here the way her leg is kind of turning because the knee is going in the opposite direction. The minute we give her a little bit of support, look how beautifully that lines back up. You can see the knee is much more in line from the ankle all the way up. We let it go, and again, she's Ugh, kind of Don't out let of her go. It's like there. she broke her ankle on so, TV. The moment we have her step right into that insert, you can see how beautifully that lines up once again, and the crooked line is now beautifully right. straight. In a traditional, never goes out of style, ballet flat, right? Think about Mother's Day and Easter and Passover and all those events that we'll have in the spring, A60. Four four one zero. Um, we will ship it with free shipping and handling. You can use your Easy Pay of under thirty dollars.